With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise, with a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. I will praise thee, O Lord. I will praise thee.
Almighty, the Son, in darkness high, and shed his glory.
Jesus is real to me. And 
now I sing a brand new song, amazing grace. Christ Jesus paid a debt he did not have to pay. Come on, I owe the debt. I owe the debt I could not pay. And he paid a debt he did not owe. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song, amazing grace. Christ Jesus paid a debt. Christ, Christ Jesus paid a debt. Christ, Christ Jesus paid a debt. He did not have to pay. Good morning, saints. Morning. This morning I'll be reading to you from Titus, the first chapter, starting at verse 1. Amen. Paul, a servant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, yes. according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging the truth, which is after good godliness, Amen. in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandments of God our Savior. To Titus, mine own son after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from yes. God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Yes, For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not excused, not accused, or riot, or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless, as the steward of God, not self-willed, Yes. Not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, yes. sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful words as he hath been taught, that he may be able to sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain taker, talkers and deceivers, especially they of cir circumcision, whose mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves even a prophet of their own said, the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from truth. Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and their conscience is defiled. Yes. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and to every good work rep reprobate. Amen. Blessed be the reading of the word. Church. I'll be reading the Psalms 119.41, verse 2, 48. Let thy mercy come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. 
so shall I have wherewith to answer him that reapproaches me. For I trust in thy word, and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hope in thy judgment. So shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimony also before kings, and I will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. Yes, that will be the reason. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thanks. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading from Isaiah chapter 55. Amen. 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 Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. Yes, and he that has no money, come ye buy and eat. Yes. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money on that which is not bread? And ye labor for that which satisfieth not. Hearken mm -hmm. diligently unto me, and eat, eat ye that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Yes, sir. Incline your ear and come unto me. Here, that your soul shall live. Amen. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Yes. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God in the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified thee. Amen. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yes, sir. Call upon him while he is near. Mm -hmm. Let the wicked forsake his way, mm -hmm. and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yes, sir. And let him return unto the Lord, mm -hmm. and, he, and he will have mercy upon him. Mm -hmm. and, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Amen. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, yes, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yes. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and return not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, yes, and bread to the eater, so shall my way be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Yes, sir. It shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Mm -hmm. For you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you unto singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Mm -hmm. Instead of thorns shall come up the fir tree. And instead of briars shall come up the myrtle tree. Mm -hmm. And it shall be the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Yes, sir. Amen. how much you get in front of God's people, you always still get a little shaky. Amen. Because Amen. God is so good and he's so awesome, Amen. you can't just say anything to his people. Amen. So, Trust God. Yes. That's the anointing. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name yes. saying thank you. Thank I thank you. you so much for your word. Yes. Hallelujah. It is living. It is alive. It is true. It is strong. It is powerful. It is a two-edged sword. Yeah. For that I say thank you. thank you. Lord, send your word. We're ready to receive it. Our yes. hearts are open. Yeah. We only want to hear from you, Lord God. Yes. We do not want to hear from a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that your word is yeah. true. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, Sanctify us with your word. Hallelujah. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I've been asking God about love 
because it's so big, God is love. And um, it's one of the fruit of the spirits. It's the first one. And so um, I, I would think if God would um, make it a physical fruit to where we could see it, like see love, it would probably, in my head, it looked like, like a vineyard of grapes because love is so much. It's so broad. So I was, I was thinking that and as I was studying, and God showed me this vine of grapes. And so I was writing in the grapes while I was studying. And then you know, the Holy Ghost led me to put just enough circles on this grapes that fit 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 8. So let's go there. I was like, Lord. I said, Lord, I'm just going to teach the people what you've been teaching me. Because what else is there to do? That is awesome. I thought I was going to go to Matthew when I got here, and I set my Bible to that. But when I got up here, God showed me the grapes in my head. So I had to, I had to tell on myself and show y'all what I drew. Amen. Yeah. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 through 8. Amen. So this is what I put in my grapes. Verse 4 says, charity, but I'm going to say love right there. Uh -huh. Love suffereth long yeah. and is kind. Charity, love envieth not. Love vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up. Mm -hmm. Doeth not behave itself unseemly. Yes. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Mm -hmm. Love bears all things, yeah. believes all things, yeah. hopeth all things, yeah. endures all things. Yeah. Sure. This last one, charity yeah. never yeah. fails. Yeah. The last grape I got at the bottom, that last big one says never fails. Yeah. Man, I was just floored by that. That was just so awesome to me that I could fit every one of those from verse 4 yes. to verse 8 yes. into the vision of the grapes that he showed me. Yes. So God is just awesome. Yes. So I said all that to say this. So when we, um, the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5.22 talks about love. When folks see that we bear that fruit of love, they kind of go crazy. Yes. And so here comes the persecution. So when we became disciples of God, he said to the disciples in Matthew 10, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So I was wondering, I was like, so we got this love and we're giving it all out. And it seemed like it's in vain. But 1 Corinthians says, Love never fails. Right. So I got to just trust God and believe that I'm sowing this love into people and it seems like it's failing, but it's not failing. So I came to encourage you today, keep loving because it's not going to fail because the words say it's not going to fail. So that's where our faith kicks in. We just got to keep having that faith that God is not a man that he should lie. And if he say love never fails, then love never fails. So I got all that down. So um, I guess the reason why I was kind of questioning and asking God about it, because you know how people, the world will say, love is blind and there's nothing like a mother's love. And they would say that because when you think of people bearing all things, believing all things, enduring all things, and long suffering, all that, the world look at us and say, love is blind. Or mother, ain't nothing like a mother's love because that mother keep on loving her crackhead daughter. And that, that wife or that husband keep on loving their um, spouses that's dogging them and cheating on them on, and preach. manipulating them and controlling them. And you still be respectful to that boss 
that's a micromanager Amen. and talking about you behind your back and trying to sabotage you and all of that stuff, but you still keep loving anyway. You keep it because once you receive the spirit of God, you get all of his fruit. That's your your um your salvation ID card. Your um your fruit of the spirit. So that proves that you saved. That don't prove that you a fool. That don't prove that you stupid. That proves that you walking like Jesus walked. That you walking in the spirit. You minding the things of the spirit and not the things of the flesh. So Matthew 10 and 36 tell us, a man's foes shall be in his own household. That's the people I was just naming off. That spouse. Or maybe it might be your kids or, um, I don't know, grandparents. Whoever it is that we are to love and respect, you know, to the highest. Sometimes they can be our foes. So I was like, so Lord, we loving these people. Your love is, it never fails. Amen. What is we supposed to do in the meantime? Like, how do we, like, apply it without our faith letting the devil diminish our faith? Because he really don't come to take our husbands or take our jobs or take, you know, our friendships or none of that. He coming to steal our faith. So we need to know what to do to keep our faith. So this is what God gave me, and I love him because... I'd be, I be hearing from him, and I'd be saying, Lord, I just want to make sure it's you and not me. So when I get to opening my Bible, he show me where it's at in the Word. And I'd be like, thank you. So the first thing he said, do, if you can, come out from among them. That's 2 Corinthians 2.16. Now, sometimes that's easier said than done, because if it's your spouse or your parents or your boss, you can't just up and, you know, leave or nothing like that. So if you can't, what you need to do is insulate your soul with the word of God. And how you do that is Ephesians 6, verse 11 through 18. That's putting on the whole armor of God. The whole, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Keep that on. That's your insulation. That's your armor. That's what's going to help you. The next thing you need to do is you got to operate in wisdom, but not just any wisdom, especially not the world's wisdom. You got to operate in divine wisdom. That's Proverbs 14 and 3. So the first thing you can do in operating in divine wisdom is control the conversation when you're talking to those people. James 1 and 19 say, listen much, speak little, and don't become angry. So you got to watch when you're dealing with those wolves in sheep's clothing. These are things you got to do. Don't talk so much. Speak little when you're dealing with them. Because they're going to try to make you angry and get in your emotions and walk in the flesh and mind the things of the flesh. The next thing, Psalms 39 and 1, says, I will take heed to my ways and sin not with my tongue. Keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. Amen. So you gotta remember when you are um, before those people, make sure you ain't saying nothing for them to, to doubt God or say, oh, right. you a hypocrite right. or nothing like that. Right. Now even though it don't seem big, it really is big. Cause they trying to make you come out of your, your spirituality Amen. and follow the devil with them. Amen. So you can't be fooled by that. That's why I said you got to walk in divine wisdom because our natural wisdom is going to make us want to get with them and do what they're doing. Then the next thing you got to do is anticipate their moves and counter them. That's Colossians 4 and 6. Let your speech be always with grace and seasoned with salt. So when you see them coming, it's a quick prayer. Pastor always teaches, Lord help me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. And some people say, you ain't got to pray for every little thing, but if you don't want to backslide, you better pray for every little thing because you, you can't do this thing by yourself. And spiritual warfare is not all spooky and all, 
You got to speak in tongues all day long. You got to fast and stank and do all kind of other crazy stuff that make you look just like a religious something. What you got, this right here is spiritual warfare. Because you're not allowing the enemy to make you go back into your flesh and do what you did before you received the fruit of the spirit. So we don't want to go back there. So you always approach from a spiritual place and not an emotional place. You can find that right before you find the fruits in Galatians 5, 16 through 24. Another thing is to realize that you, they are your frenemies. This is something that the world say frenemies. But they, they look like your friend and they try to act like your friend. But really they're your enemy. And they're your enemy because they're fighting against the spirit in you with the spirit that's in them. And 2 Corinthians 6, 14 tells us, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. It's a reason why God said that. Because they're going to try to make you come out of yourself, which is a child of God. Which is somebody that's bearing the fruit of love and joy and peace and all that stuff. They're trying to make you come out of that. So then, um, Amen. The scripture that talks about them, God already knew this was going to happen, and he still allowed us to go through it. So we just got to go through it and have faith. We're going to be all right. Matthew 7 and 15 say, they come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. And when I first seen that scripture, I thought that it was just talking about, like, false prophets or whatever. And that's true, but when you think about it, somebody that's not saved, and they trying to talk to you, and they trying to pull you out of your salvation and steal your faith. They are false prophet too. Amen. So they are the in, they are the um, the wolves. They are ferocious wolves in sheep's clothing. They the frenemies, yes, trying to act like they're your friend, but they really trying to destroy your soul and steal your faith. Yes, and one thing we gotta stay focused and make sure that we don't do is judge them, Amen. because. All sin is sin, and we just stepped out of it yesterday. Amen. So just because they going through theirs, that don't make us better than them. Amen. It just means we saw the light before they did and received it. Because that's the thing. You can um, take the person to the water, but you can't make them drink it. Amen. So you just got to trust that their relationship between God is between them and God. You just got to trust that his love never fails. You just got to trust that you need to sow the seed of love. You need to show them the, the long suffering. You need to show them the joy when you're going through. You need to show them that you don't um, flip out every time Trump do something or they need to see you walking in that stuff without judging them while they're doing it. So that's what God was dealing with me on. So I would say I share with the people. So my last thing is to just say, um, be encouraged. Deuteronomy 31 and 6 says, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God, he is with you. It is he that goes with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. So the seven things I got of this teaching that God gave me was to come out from among them, uh-huh. insulate your soul with the word, yeah. use divine wisdom, not your own wisdom, yeah. anticipate what they're going to do. You pretty much know most people when they come, what they're coming with. Yes, you know if they're going to ask, you know if they're going to, when they call on the phone and be like, what you doing today? Yeah. Don't ask me what I'm doing today. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll let you know if I can do it, you know? Yeah. But you already know, so anticipate those things. Say, Lord, help me grace my words, you know. And so you can get through it, because that spirit that's on them that they don't even realize is on the inside of them, trying to use them like a puppet, trying to make you come out of your thing so they can make that person think, no, nah, I don't have faith in God, because they unstable. They sometimes save, sometimes not save. That's a trick. Remember you in spiritual warfare. Do not let that happen. Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. That's why I say use that quick prayer that um, pastor gave us. Lord, help me. And he will make your words come out exactly the way that person needs to hear it. The next thing you need to remember is approach it spiritually and not emotionally. Be angry, but sin not. The Lord started working with me on my face because 
my face sometimes say what I'm thinking but not saying. You got to get you a, uh, the world call it a poker face. You got to get you a poker face. They try to rile you up or confuse you, especially the ones that try to confuse you, that'll tell you something didn't happen or it happened totally the way um, they said it happened. And you know good and well that is not what happened. But they're going to try to confuse you and make you think you didn't see it or understand it correctly. You understood it correctly, but don't get frantic. Don't go off because they're trying to confuse you. That's a trick. That's a trick. Realize that they're frenemies, and they're just doing what their father is telling them to do. We got to make sure we're doing what our father has told us to do. And the last thing, don't judge. Stay encouraged. Just smile and nod. Sometimes you just got to smile and nod and pray. Because God is good. And his word does not fail. And he is going to do what he said he's going to do. Amen. 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 And all of your ways. Yeah. Not just, not just some. See what you heard? You didn't hear a preacher, a woman preach. Uh -huh. You heard the homo coach shot out of the house. You heard the Holy Ghost. Amen. And it would be a shame for us not to acknowledge yes. all these things that God is doing with all these people. So, so come to me or, or come to Pastor Blackwood and tell him, I got a word. Now, we'll know whether you got a word. Amen. Come on, brother. We, 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 you can't fool the preacher. Hallelujah. Give a big hand. Give a big hand for the Come on. Glory. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. I want to say thank God this morning to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I can be but a minute. I love that. First, I'm going to see this regular father in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for coming out this morning. Lord, that you, as your word has continues to flow, let it continue, Father God. Amen. Through the through the head of the church all the way down through the body, Father. Clean us, Father God. Mm -hmm. Strengthen us. Yeah. Be merciful with us. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us all last week. Yeah. Bring us here today. This is, as my brothers often say, this is where you wanted us to be. Amen. And so we thank you, Lord Jesus, this day, Father God, for keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger as we went to and fro throughout this past Amen. week. And we thank you for the protection from the evils yes, of this world, Father yes. God. Thank we you. thank you. And thank you, Father God, for all the, my brothers and sisters, not only in this vineyard right here, Father God, yes. but the whole body of Christ. In yes. Jesus' name, we pray these words. Amen and amen and amen. 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 Glory, 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 glory. I thank, I thank God for, I tell you, I was, uh, <laughs> God bless my sister. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus, I, I was enjoying that right there. Amen. I don't look at it. I don't, I, I never looked at it. As she said, I would used to be a, I've never, never been a church person, so uh, I don't know nothing that, and all the church songs and stuff that people sang, I done heard them over the years, but I never really never did know them. And when I was when I started going to church, I didn't know one church song except for the ones I knew when I was eight, seven years old. And uh, because I quit quit I got I left church when I was about fifteen. And I didn't go back until I was twenty seven years old. And then the Lord had uh, he had put me in a situation, allowed me to be in a situation that I had to go back. Yeah. It was like Pastor said one time, my last call. And so I'm thankful. Amen. I'm glad and I'm not sad. Amen. The reason I say it, say that like that right there, and I'm gonna get to the word. <laughs> the reason I say that like that, because I was thinking, as Sister says, I was thinking, I said, Lord, you know, uh, I, ain't, I I said, what is a minister? What a, what is, well, when you didn't find a minister, is a one that announces something. And so the Bible tells us that we are ministers of Christ. Yeah. And every last one of us in here yeah. is a minister of God. Yeah. 
according to this word. Because yeah. when we think of minister, you think I gotta be being a pastorship, yeah. like pastor. Yeah. But we are all ministers because when we go out into this world, what sister just said and what you expand, and what I'm finna read, is what we have to do on a daily basis. Right. We got to tell somebody when the opportunity comes yeah. about how good God is. Yes, sir. And that's what a minister is. Yes, He's going to tell you how good God is to him. Yes. So we're trying to win souls here. Yes. And if we don't get but five seconds at the bus stop, as Pastor used to say in Bible college, mm -hmm. hey, you got to hit him right then and there yes. and trust God that he's going he gonna to do the rest. Yes. But I'm going to start here today because this is uh, called this the good news. Because it is the good news. And I thank God for his word, Amen. the good news. Because the good news brought us salvation. Yes, sir. That's why it's the good news. Yes, sir. Because it took us from death, to brought us out of death into life. Yeah. And first Corinthians, I mean second Corinthians, fourth chapter. And I got some scriptures here. I'm gonna try to get through to try to get through them. Praise. If I can. Praise. Second Corinthians 4. It says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. This what here what we got right now. Uh -huh. We have this good news. This is the good ministry that we have. Yeah. We have received mercy. We faint. We have received mercy. We faint not. Yeah. And so therefore, thinking about this, when I was thinking about this right here, it says we faint not. Because the, the, the trials that we go through in this world, yeah. with our families, mm -hmm. friends, I'm on the work, work site, and every place else, yeah. will send you, cause you to use all of what my sister said about love. Why are we going through this right here? That's why we can't. That's why we got to be strong in this word. Yeah. We got to be in this word. I ain't got, I've learned this right here. Yeah. I've learned this right here. I used to think God was very, very complicated. You know, I can't understand the Bible yeah. and everything. And then I used to hear ministers speak uh, on TV these years ago and up until about, I quit while, way, way while back. Listen to that. Uh, ministers talk about, they use a lot of big words, and they go off into a lot of other stuff. And I said, now Lord, I ain't got no education. Yeah. Now how can I understand uh, Latin? Yeah. And you tell me this person talking in Latin, and I'm sitting there, and my mama's sitting right there, and she's 75 years old, yeah. just went to the eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. Now how does she know anything about Latin? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I used to sit and I, I used to think about that when I watched these ministers in the program. But then the Lord came to me. He told me this. He said, am I not God? Amen. Am I not God? Can I not reach? Amen. If there ain't nothing too hard for God, Amen. then I ain't got to use none of that stuff. Yeah. He can come down to your ignorant, that yes. most ignorant place you at yes, in your sir. life yes. and reach you. Yes, you ain't got that. You don't even have to be on fence elementary. Yeah. God can come down and reach us right there. Yeah. You ain't got to be no high school, have no, yeah. have no college education. Yeah. He can reach you right there. Yeah. He is God. I had to remember, he said, he was omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipotent. So I, do, I have to know that. If he knows all things, Jesus said, I know your very thoughts for you need. So if he yeah. knows all things, yeah. then he knows yeah. what I know. Yes, and if I don't know nothing, he can teach me what I don't yes, know in my ignorance. That's what I thank him for. Because I am that man that he taught that to. Yes, amen, Jesus. Because I was ignorant, not yes. only unaware of things, but I was just the other ignorant, too. Yes. <laughs> it's two of them. Yes. <laughs> One, you can just be ignorant because you don't know nothing. Another, you be ignorant because you're a fool. Yeah. All right, now. Great. So, that one was me. Yeah. Oh, both of them. Yes, but anyway, praise God. Praise him for his word. I want, to turn, I want you to turn your Bibles to, if you can, uh, to, uh, let me see, 1 Timothy 1.12. Praise God. I'm going to hurry, I'm gonna hurry up and get through these, these yeah. scriptures right here. 1, 20, 1 Timothy 1.12 says, 
He says, uh, no, 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 no. I said, Timothy, right? Yes. Yeah. I was in Titus. First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.12. Yeah. He says, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who have enabled me, for that he has counted me faithful, putting me in the ministry. Yes, sir. And then, I goes, I'm going to say something on that. And then, uh, and down to the, uh, no, I'm going to read through that. First Timothy 1, 12. Great, Graduate all this stuff up here. That's all right, sir. He says right here. Let me go, go. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a rush, but I'm going to take my time and rush. Take your time. <laughs> take your time. There you go. 1 Timothy 1. So y'all just bear along with me. Let me find this right here real quick. 1 Timothy. And he says, I want to read down through the 17 verse. He said, who was, and I thank Christ, and I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who had made me, who enabled me. For he that have counted me faithful, putting me in the, in the ministry, who was before a blasphemer, a persecutor, and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly yeah. in unbelief. Amen. And that's where a lot of people we are at in the world, and that's why I was, yes, on a personal basis. Yes, and the grace yeah. of our Lord was exceedingly bound yeah. with faith and love, which is, you can't get, you can't get past this right here. No, sir. You can't get, because she just supposed to talk yes. about love. You, <laughs> this got you surrounded everywhere you go. He said, and, and, uh, with, uh, and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying, mm -hmm. and worthy of all acceptation, yes, that Christ Jesus came into the world mm -hmm. to save sinners, yes. who I am. Yes. He says, and whom I am chief. I'm chief. So I thank God for his love and mercy. I want you to go to uh, 2 Corinthians 3.6. Make sure I hold my praise. In the second Corinthians, uh, three six it says, "Who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the latter, but of the Spirit. For the latter killed, but the Spirit giveth life." Yes, sir. God has made us able ministers. Uh -huh. Now you can't be an able minister of God. Unless you've been born again. Amen. That's the only way Amen. that we can be able ministers of God. I don't care what denomination you're in or where you go, because I have a real problem here with myself, and I pray all the time. I am a strong, I'm a strong opinionated person. And so I'd be praying constantly, to the Lord, when I was in the world, I was that way. And so in my Leslie, so man, he's still that way. Yeah. I know he's that way, but I don't deal with him Praise in that manner because yeah. I know who he is. Yes. So when God changed me, he changed the inner man. Yes. And he able me to see the outer man. Amen. He know, I know him. Mm -hmm. I've been with him all my physical life. Yeah. I see when the devil shoot a dart in his Praise head. Amen. I know an ungodly dart yes. from a godly dart. Amen. Amen. Because God ain't going to give me nothing. Ain't going to send no evil thoughts in my no, head. Sir, He's not going to give me no selfish sir. thoughts in my head. The devil is the author of those thoughts. Yes. And now since I have learned that those are his thoughts, mm -hmm. I can push those thoughts away. Amen. And I constantly, as Sister said, a, a judgmental. My opinion is strong. You might think I'm judging, people might think I'm judging them yeah. if I give you my opinion. Yeah. But my opinion is my opinion. Because yeah. I got flesh on me too. But in my opinion, be based upon this right here. Yes, sir. Yeah. And if my opinion is strong enough, and I'm saying it to you, and you be offended, you think I'm talking about you. Yeah. I'm not talking about you. Praise I'm talking about that spirit that's deceiving you. Yes, sir. That's what I be talking about. Yes, sir. And it's hard for people to see that if you wrapped up in your flesh, you're going to be a part of that flesh. Praise and if you're a Christian, 
and you walk in lukewarm, you're going to feel all, all, you're going to feel all the negative yes. of the Holy Spirit, Holy Word yes. Spirit. Yes, sir. If he's, part, if he's talking to you about Christ. Yes. And if, if, we, if being saved and living right and loving and forgiveness, if that right there is not in your, not in your menu, and you yes. call yourself a Christian, yes. and I say something to you about love, how you supposed to love somebody, mm -hmm. how you shouldn't be like that, and because I express it the way I express it, not out of hate, out of love. Because you got to get through, and I know they say you can be a little, because I've been told this right here. You got to be a little bit more soft, but you can't get through nobody. You can't get to that, get through that ear unless you stress it. Yes, sir. Because they're saying, "Well, I love you," and you out of whack. You ain't hear me, but if I raise my voice, uh -huh. just like you're a little child. You tell, I told my little granddaughter the other day, I said, hey girl, go do this song. Don't do that. She ain't heard nothing I said. Uh -huh. But when I lifted up my voice and made it loud, yeah. and my voice was strong, and she could feel the power in it, that I'm serious, that's when she paid her attention. Yeah. And we are just like that too. Yeah. God treat, do us like this way. Because we ain't, we might be walking around here, now listen, I know we believe in Jesus, right. but now sometimes we ain't listening yeah. to Jesus. And so he had to put a loud voice in there yeah. to grab your attention yes. so you know what he's talking about. Yeah. God wants us to be saved. Yeah. God wants us to be saved. Yeah. And uh, so uh, uh, that was, uh, what was that? That was 3 6. Yeah, 3 6. Go to 2 Corinthians 4 16. Because remember in the beginning, he said this right here Therefore, see, we have this ministry. As we have received mercy, uh -huh. we faint not. We God do not want us to be weak in our faith. Amen. He don't want us to faint. He don't want us to give up because Pray. people poking at you and saying this right here thing about you and the world is in such a disarray. Yeah. We cannot faint behind these times. Amen. So in 2 Corinthians 3, 6, he says, did I read that one time? I didn't read it. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. 4.16. 4, 16. He says, for which cause we faint not. Yeah, yeah. But though our outward man perish, perish. <laughs> this guy right here, yeah. though he's going to die, yeah. and though he's dying, yeah. he said right here, yet the inward yeah, man, man is regenerated day by day, is renewed. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day he's renewed. Yeah. So I try, I strive every day to keep this inner man rejuvenated yeah. in my spirit, man. Yeah. Because with that, I got to be happy. Praise I got to be happy. I got to feel joy. I got to feel joy in my life. Yes, sir. And when I get up in the morning, I mess with my wife. But she, my daughter and say, you, this early in the morning? Yeah. Hey, I got to feel joy. I can't get up and feeling, oh, man, I'm dragged. This, this dude drove me. He drove me a long time. Amen. I'm not dragging no more. Praise I'm going to feel the presence of God in the morning when I, my feet hit the floor. Praise I'm going to praise him, give him yes, praise. Yes, I'm going to thank him then. Yes, and I'm going to feel happy about it too. Yes, because we don't have but a minute here. Praise we don't have but a minute here. The pastor says every Sunday here. Yes. 85. Yes, and when, they, when I first came here, the pastor was 71. Now he's 85. Yeah. And so, he told me one day, he told us, I said me, because I take the words personally. He said, when you get my age, 73, you don't know it. So he used to sit stand right there and, and clap his hand and say, did you see me, John? Let's well, see, I wasn't, I was, I was, I wasn't, I was in my late, late 50s, almost 60 then. I said, well, I gotta go, on, I gotta wait to go. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, <laughs> But you know, I thank God that I, I'm there now. I might not be there like he is in age wise, mm -hmm. but I understand Amen. what he's saying. Yes. This grace here. Oh, God. This is grace here. Yes. And when I think about how good he is, because I'm getting all off my stuff, but when I think about how good he is, it, may, it don't do nothing but make me feel good. Yes. Because I'm not living on nobody's. All or nothing but Jesus' words yes, sir. and my faith in Jesus. Yes. And I know I'm going I'm to go on and finish, and finish reading this because I get to talk. See, that's my yes. problem. <laughs> that's my problem. I got to keep my focus. 
there because there's so much here. Therefore, he says, uh, but verse 2, but we have renounced the hidden things of darkness. That's what we done did. The hidden things of dishonesty, I mean. Yeah. Not walking in craftiness. Not handling the word of God deceitfully. But uh, by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man conscious yes. in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. For if our gospel be hid, uh, 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 it is his to them that lost. Yes. And I used to say, and I'm, I'm, I'm practicing on this right here in, in uh, uh, verse 4. And that's the Lord to give me, uh, I know what it's saying. Yeah. But I say, Lord, he said to them that is lost. I was telling my wife on the way to church today, I say, then they doomed it. Uh -huh. I say, but as long, I say, but they still alive, ain't they doing? She said, yeah. I say, then they still got a chance. Yes, sir. Amen. Regardless how bad they are, and you can, I, I know people that you say, I don't see how they're going to change. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And that's a hard thing yes. with me. I, when I see over all these years that you ain't changed, but God is still God. God. He's God. Amen. He still can change. Amen. And you, Amen. he can still Amen. change it. I don't care how bad you are. Amen. He can still change it. So Amen. when I look at you, I say, no, you ain't going to make it. Yeah. I'm not trying to judge you, but yeah. your actions cause me to see something in you that ain't right, but I ain't God. Yeah. That's right. I'm not God. Amen. But the thing, I said, Lord, so when I, I ran across so many people like that, so I said, Lord, and if Sean did me wrong for his conversation, I said, Lord, forgive him. Yeah. I had to learn, Lord, forgive him. Yeah. Forgive them. Mm -hmm. Because I was once just like that in my life. Yes, sir. I was once just like that. Yes, sir. And I'm so grateful now. Yes. And I'm going to keep saying, uh, I'm grateful. Yes. I'm so grateful now yes. that God done changed me. <laughs> Because I know the outcome of yeah. my life. Yeah, that's right. I got a problem here in this life. Yeah. I don't like none here. Yeah. And I have to make myself and say, Lord, man, then I say, what, what do man supposed to do then, Lord? Yeah. If you know this place right here, because this is a wicked place. Yeah. As we stand right here today, there's some wicked stuff being done. Yeah. That, and y'all don't heard about it, read about it. All, oh, y'all just this country. Yeah. All over the world in the suffering. Yeah, right. And we talking about and then you got a lot of us claiming Christianity is right in the mix of it. Yes, sir. Jesus. And how can we call ourselves Christian? Mm -hmm. But I got a scripture there. The devil in 2 Corinthians 13, like he said, he said they're false prophets. Mm -hmm. So we got to know that there ain't nobody but the devil. Yes, yeah, sir. They're wearing a cloak of, that look like righteousness. Yes. Yeah. He come to church with his suit on yeah. and his tie. Smell good, yes. nice car, yes. everything yes. looking plush. Yes. But there ain't nobody but the devil. Because if you ain't got love, uh -huh. and if you handling this right here deceitfully, yes. and, and when somebody in need and you can't help them, Amen. and you can't give them, they're at the store, yes. they ain't got no food, yes. they ain't got no money. I said, Lord, this woman, I sit walking the street every day. So the first time she called me, she called me. I was in a rush. Yeah. She called me and I said, Lord, she said, ask me for something. I said, I'm kind of brushed off. And yeah. when Miss Henry Bros got my stuff and came back. Yeah. And then I gave it to her. Then next time, she called me again. Yeah. I say all the time. Uh -huh. And so she called me again. And I, and I said, I said, how can you? I said, I just gave you something the other day. Yeah. But see, I had to repent. Amen. I did. I had to repent. Amen. So, cause I was wrong. Mm -hmm. This woman, something wrong with her, yes. but she ain't got nothing. And if you look at her, and you probably don't see her. Yes. Everybody in basic probably don't see her. Yes. You on Saginaw Street all the time. Oh. I ain't got nothing. Hair woolly all over here. And people look at her and they laugh at her and stuff like that. So I made a promise to myself. I said, Lord, every time I see her, and I go to the store, I'm going to give her something. Yeah. Every time. If I got two dollars, I'm gonna give her two dollars. If I got three dollars, I'm gonna give her three dollars. I'll give her five dollars. I say, whatever. If I got it, Lord, I'm gonna give it to her. If I ain't got nothing but a pocket full of change, I'm gonna get that to her. Yeah. Amen. 
When I was out there like her, and I was out there like her, didn't nobody give me nothing. Amen. And I said I was, y'all didn't hear what I said. <laughs> Amen. I said I was out there like her. Amen. And didn't nobody give me nothing. nothing. Amen. But Jesus came into my life. Yes, he did. He came into my life. And then he, feel, he put some love in my heart. He sanctified my soul. He made me believe in what I did. He showed me that he was real. And I thought, because I thought he was, I know he wasn't white. But uh, I thought he was, because I used to call him, God forgive me for the word, y'all. But I called him blue-eyed devil because that's what I did. Yes. That's what I saw in yes. my natural self. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what I saw. Yes. And everybody had to have this picture in their church or right. in their house. Well, that's God. And he got his foot on my neck. Yes. And it was hard for me to choke that one down. Praise. It was Praise. hard for me to choke that yes, one down. Yes. I couldn't choke it. Praise. I could yes, choke it. I said, Lord, I bring my mom ready to go to church. I said, I yes. believe in God. Yes, I didn't know who God was. Yes, but my mama told me he was a spirit. Yes. So she used to read this right here to him. Yes, sir. And so, Amen. but when he come into my heart, he should let me know yes, sir. that he ain't got no man color. Yes, sir. And he ain't about no man color. Yes. And even when he came here, whatever nationality the group, he was not Caucasian nor black. Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> But this right here, one thing for sure, he was a man. Yes, sir. He took the form of a man. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And it didn't make no difference because he didn't care about it. Mm -hmm. He did not care about it. Amen. He threw it down in the grave. And then when he left, he took that mess with him. Yes, sir. And let it, it became a glorified body. Yes, sir. Amen. So now he told me, God is spirit. So if I worship him, That's right. I worship him in spirit, in spirit. and in truth. Yeah. And there ain't no flesh in the spirit. Hey. Ain't no flesh nope. in the spirit. Amen. So I know it's going to hurt a lot of y'all feelings when I'm going to say this right here. But I don't mean to. Yes, sir. I really don't. Because yes. I had to think about this and say, Lord, I hear people say it all the time. When I get to heaven, mm. I'm going to see my mom. When I get to heaven, uh -huh. I'm going to see my dad. See this right here. Either this word is true yes. or what they saying yes. is a lie. Yes. Yes. Because my mama gone. Amen. And, I, and I know she was a godly woman. Amen. But when I get to heaven, I ain't going to see her. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. Amen. I'm going to see her just like I see Christ. Amen. I'm going to see her just like I see Jesus. Amen. We are, my Jesus said, told the third, he said, the son, he said, how greatly do you hear? I'm always off myself. Yes. But he said, how greatly do you hear yes. from the word of God? He said, don't you know in heaven there's no male nor female? Yes, sir. Then how is I'm going to know my mama? No. How is I'm going to know my dad? Yes, sir. How am I going to know my brother and my sister? Yes, sir. When I get to heaven. Yes, we go, he said, we changing into the image of Jesus. Yes. God is spirit. Yes, so if we change in the image of God, I'm going to be, we going to look like each other yes, to each sir. other. We're going to look just like Christ. Yes, sir. If you're looking at Jesus, he look like you when I see you. That's what my Bible tells me. Yes. I'm going to look just like Jesus. Because yes. I'm going to have his image yes. all the way through. Yes. You're going to have his image yes. all the way through. Yes. we all going to be looking at each other, and all things we're going to see in each other is Jesus. Because, yes. yes. see, anything else, ain't no flesh and blood going to be there. So Amen. I can't have no fleshly mind in there. Here I'm in heaven and my mama. Yes, sir. I said, Mama, oh, Mama, your hair sure did grow since you yeah, yeah. got in here. <laughs> but I'm not just joking. Glory. Amen. Y'all forgive the past. But you did ask me to say something. Yes, sir. And I love you. Yes. And I love y'all. Yes. Now, I know I got a lot to say, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tighten this up right now. Amen. Because other people got to speak. But I just want to say, uh, because I really want to finish this, but I, 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 I'm going to tighten it up. Because I thank God for his love and his mercy and his loving kindness. Amen. We got to stay true to this right here. Amen. See, I am a minister of God. Yes, sir. We are yes, sir. the church of God. Amen. And in Revelation, when he, was, when he was talking about a first chapter, he told me, talking about, 
the expression of God in his image in Revelation. I think 12 something. And somebody that's hair like lamb wool. They used to tell me that. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a black man there. That's the devil. That was, that was Christ's glory. All that spoke to them about his glory and his judgment. It had nothing to do with the image of my old man. So I read my Bible. And I read through that stuff and read, ran this and ran that and all this. I said, Lord, because God is not going to exalt no flesh. Yes. He's going to exalt his glory. Yes. And that's who we're supposed to exalt. Yes, sir. His, glory. his glory. That's the only thing I see. I want to, I love y'all, and I say it a whole bunch of times. It might sound cliche, but I love my family. Yes. My family is, Christ, is, in, is in Christ Jesus. Yes. You, in the natural, I say we are brothers and sisters. Yes. Because of the gender. Amen. But we are all the same in Jesus. Yes, <clears throat> and I encourage us to love one another, encourage one another in Christ Jesus. Yes. I thank God for my pastor for encouraging me and keeping us all encouraged, Pastor Black, mm. for keeping us all encouraged in him. And I pray and pray to God that I hope that I th y'all be, come on, Pastor. You can come on up. I'm finna leave. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, y'all pray for me. Pray for my strength. Amen. Because like I say, I, I'm a strong, I'm a strong, opinionated person. But my opinionated opinion is based upon this right here. How can you, how can you deny this right here? Yes, sir. This is so. This is love right here. This is great love right here. Yes, sir. And I was, I said, Lord, let me get up here coming as you talk. I started crying, and I don't want to be up here crying and everything. Be like, I done broke all down because right. God's so good to me. Yeah. And yeah. I, I get, ain't got enough words right. to thank you. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all for allowing me to stand up here. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, sir. My sisters, my brothers, love y'all in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When, I see, when I see Jesus, yeah. amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. amen. When I see the one. Yes, Lord. Yes. Die for me. Amen. 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 <laughs> when I see Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 You see, we got so much word here. Yes, sir. Mm. And mm. We will have to learn. It's not all about the pastor. Amen. It's all about the pastoring. Jesus. So I want to ask you to have a message Sunday. And you have one Sunday. I want you to read some scriptures Sunday. Put the body to work. Because he just said, with the body of what? Christ. Turn Christ loose. Lord. Now I introduce you to my friend. You know, we, we need friends. Amen. You know, they stick closer than a mm -hmm. brother. Amen. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny? We all got one friend. Amen. And you just got through telling us all about it. Amen. He's the one that say, I will never make Como shot. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you, even to the end of this world. You see how Miranda just got up in red and just, he blessed my soul. I was there, oh, you sitting down too quick. Bless my soul. So I introduce you now to her. Slave of the gospel. Yes, sir. Dr. Blackman. Yes, sir. Come on, brother. Dr. Blackman. You say, I feel like I need to stand today. Amen. Praise God. Hmm. Amen. He 
Him. How many of you love the Lord? Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Yes, when I see Jesus, yes, I'm sure enough going to say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. That's the only one I'm going to be looking for. <laughs> amen. When I see him, yes. I'm going to know I'm in the right place. Yes, sir. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Yeah, the Bible says that God is going to, going to say to some, Depart from me. Oh, yes. I never knew you. Yes. But you know what? All of us, we don't have to worry about that. That's right. Because we say, come on, give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Would you turn your Bible to the Gospel of St. Luke? I think I'm just do about five or ten minutes because I want to hear my pastor. I want to hear a word of wisdom. Amen. So would you turn your Bible to St. Luke, chapter 4. Hey Amen. There's some other scriptures I have, but we're not going to read those right now. Luke, chapter 4. Just say amen when you find that. Amen. amen. Yeah, I just, I, I said to Pastor, I just want to try the podium this morning. Amen. I feel like standing up. <laughs> amen. The Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 4, verse 1. And Jesus being full of the whoa, Holy Ghost. Y'all see that? And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit. Now I want you to note that now. And was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. The Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 says, the Spirit of the Lord led Jesus into the wilderness yeah. to be tempted by the devil. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Now that's saying something. Yes, it is. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, his ministry has been proven. God has put a seal on his ministry while he was standing there in the water with John the Baptist. And the Bible says when John the Baptist baptized him, and Jesus came up from the water. They heard this voice. Said, this is my beloved son. Mm -hmm. hmm? That's right. In whom I'm well pleased. That was God talking about his son Jesus. Yeah. And then the spirit of God led Jesus into the wilderness That's right. to be tempted by the devil. Look at verse 2. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat what? Mm -hmm. Nothing. And when he were ended, and when they were ended, those days was ended, he was a hungry. He was hungry, amen. That's right. Now that's very important because the only time the devil can tempt you and I, uh -huh. you have to have something to tempt us with. Right. Amen. amen. You have to know now, he don't have nothing. This Bible here. The devil don't have nothing he can tempt you with unless you have something he can tempt you with. Y'all still with me? I'm going to prove it to you in a minute. In the, in, in, the, in the book of James chapter 1, the devil has to have something to tempt us with. The only thing he had to tempt Jesus with, the Bible says he was what? Hungry. Look at your word. Being, verse 2. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did what? Eat nothing. And when they were ended, he was out there a hungry. Well, well, well. Verse 3. And the devil said unto him, said unto Jesus, If thou be who? The Son of God. Come on, y'all get with me. Amen. If thou be the Son of God, do what? Command this stone that it be made bread. You see that? The devil is tempting him now with his hunger. Uh -huh. Amen. Verse 4, Jesus answered and said unto him, it is written yes, sir. that man shall not live by what? Bread. By bread alone. Yes. But by every word 
of God. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Listen now. Jesus himself said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word okay. yeah, Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. That's where we get our true life from. Yes. That's where we receive our true substance. Amen. Amen. I know this physical body has to have food mm -hmm. to go on. Amen. Yes. We have to eat. We have to drink. Amen. Amen. But you have to know that the soul of man yes, and the spirit of man have to have the word of God to stay alive. Yes. Come on, y'all give God some praise. Yes. If we're going to stay alive, I'm talking about real life. Yes. It has to be by the word of God. Yes. Amen. So my theme, just for a few minutes, my subject, when your test becomes a temptation. Look, at, look in your minds at Jesus now out there in the wilderness. Fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Bible says he was hungry. I said, when your test becomes a what? Temptation. In the same way Jesus experienced that, we ourselves had to experience it. See, God allows our faith to be tested. The devil takes the test and make it out of a temptation. What is the temptation? Whether or not we obey God. Amen. Come on. That's it. While our faith being tested, whether or not we obey God. The devil is there for one reason, to keep us from obeying God. Come on, y'all praise him. That's the word. Turn your Bibles to the book of James, chapter one. We coming back here. James chapter 1. Yes, sir. Amen. When your test becomes a temptation. Boy, boy, boy. But Duncan, yes, would, would you give me this water right here on, yes. on the front seat? When your test becomes a temptation. I have experienced that yes. so many times. Amen. Yes. Thank you, my brother. So many times when I know that God is allowing my faith to be tested. Yes, sir. I know that the devil is trying to keep me from obeying God. Yes, James chapter 1, look at verse 13. Are you there? Yes, sir. Amen. Let no man say when he is tempted. Y'all see that? <laughs> Boy, this is proof right here. Let no man say, let no one man say, boy, girl, when he or she is tempted, I am tempted of God. Come on. For God cannot what? Be tempted with what? Either. Neither tempted he any man. Why can God not be tempted with evil? Because God don't have no evil within him. Come on, y'all. Come on, guys. The only way the devil can tempt us with evil, we got to have some evil in us. Amen. Oh, Amen. whatever Adam have left there, mm -hmm. and we have not allowed the Holy Spirit to dismiss it, Amen. the devil take that Amen. and tempt us with it. Amen. Amen. It can be a desire, yep. hmm? an old desire that we haven't taken care of yet. Right. It can be something that I see and we are attracted to. That's right. Whatever we are attracted to that God is not pleased with, that's a temptation. That's right. Amen. Oh, verse, two, verse 13 again, then I'm going to read for verse 14. Let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. The only way the enemy could tempt Jesus in the wilderness he had to wait, Sister Brown, till he become hungry. That's right, Pastor. Look at that, Sister Brown. That's the only way. He had to wait till he become hungry. Why? Because Jesus didn't have nothing else in him to be tempted with. Y'all don't hear me. Look at verse 14. But every man is what? Is tempted when what? When he is drawn what? Away of his what? Of his own lust. <laughs> 
and entice. Yes. Let us not blame. Let us not blame the enemy for anything. According to verse 14, we don't have any blame for the enemy. It is when we are drawn away of our own lust that the enemy has something to work with. Great day in the morning. That's why it's so important for us to allow God to work out of us strongholds. In a stronghold there. What is a stronghold? Something that has been there for years. And it has grown and has grown and has grown and now it's too big for us to work with it. Now we need God to work with it. Oh my God. The devil will take that stronghold and tempt us when? Day by day. I'm telling y'all what I know. Every time you put yourself in a little position, to be tempted with that stronghold, here come the devil. Amen. But all thank God, we got a God. I say we have a God. That all things are possible. Huh? Oh, I'm getting happy here. All things are possible. With God, amen? And whatever we can't do, he can do. So verse 15, then when lust has conceived. Yes, it bringeth forth sin, and sin when it is what? Finished. One translator says, when it is full grown, yep. it bringeth forth death. Yes, That's Lord. spiritual death. Yes. Amen. Started off with a little temptation, a little lust yes, that we didn't Lord. give to God. Yeah. And the devil took it and made something big out of it. Amen. But oh, we got to God. I'm going to repeat myself. We have a God. Let me show you this God in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a God. Amen. All things are possible. Yes, yes. yes, sir. One of the ways, I just thought about Sister Miranda's message. One of the ways we can get it out of there is with love. Amen. Huh? Amen. Love never what? Fail. Amen. Love never fails. Hallelujah. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 13. Are you there? Yes, verse 12 and 13. Verse 12. Wherefore let him that think it he standeth. Take heed lest he what? Paul. Oh. Read verse 13 with me. Come on. There had no temptation taken you but such as is what? Common to man. But God is faithful. Stop right there. Somebody say God is faithful. God. I don't mind. But God is faithful. Amen. There had no temptation, no trial, no test that's taken you, that's, that have come upon you, but such as is common to mankind. Amen. In other words, what you and I are experiencing right now, others have already gone through it. And others will go through it after you and I. No temptation taking us, such as is common to mankind. But God is faithful. Now here's the key. Here's the meat of that text. The meat right here. Who will what? Not suffer you. Who will not allow you to be what? Tempted above that you are able. Oh, praise God. But will with the temptation also make a way to do what? To escape, that you may be able to bear it. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 God will take that thing and deal with it. And when we are trying to deal with it, he'll make a way out. He'll make a way of escape, amen? What did you call that? Faith. Hallelujah. Faith to know that our God is strong. Faith to know that our God, all things is possible with him. Faith to know that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Oh, I dwell on that. Somebody say only by the grace of God. Come on. Only by the grace of God. Give God some praise. So Jesus was tempted 
the Bible says when he was hungry. And he spoke a word to that temptation the devil brought to him. Man shall not live by bread alone. What is that saying to us, Brother Duncan? Y'all, what, what, what is that saying to us? Every time the enemy brings that temptation, we can resist him with the word of God. Come on. The word of God. That word. He can't stand that word. Come on now. He can't stand that word. That word became a living being. That word hung on the cross for you and I. That, that word died for us. Hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. That word bled and died. That word suffered. That word went down to the grave. That word got up early Sunday morning. That word. Hey, thank God for the word. You talking about this is a word, church. You can tell anybody, this church can't fail. Hey, thank God for the word. Hey. Hey. God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for the word. Hallelujah. The devil don't like it. He can't do nothing about it. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to make you feel good. This is called a cell phone. You got a clock on it. It is now 1237. At one o'clock. <laughs> I might quit. Let me teach you what I've been teaching for close to 60 years. John, oh my, yeah, John 14. It's been some word come across this poor yes, Come on. Give yourself a big hand. Come on. Come on. Well, you can't accuse me of teaching nothing different. And I can't accuse you of teaching nothing different. In the beginning, help me with it, was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. We've got three preachers coming next week. Pumpkin and Sister Lady and Lady there and then Blackman. And if you have five minutes, I'll tighten it up. St. John 14. Now don't act like you heard this before. St. John 14. The Holy Ghost said, let not your heart be trouble. Yes, sir. Put a period on that and go on. Yeah. Let the devil going to try to do something to trouble your heart. Boy, boy, boy. Come on, Thank you, Jesus. He don't know that what he does can trouble our head, Thank you, but our head's dead. Yes, right. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. So we don't live with dead stuff. No. Amen. Jesus, I'm come that you might have no Korea. Yes, hey! hey. You may have what? And that you might have that life more. It's abundantly, but you're going to have it more. Yes, sir. Abundantly. I'm not going to neglect my ministry because, et cetera, et cetera. I'm preaching to the church at four o'clock today, but I'm going to give them a quick message like you did. Then I go see my wife. My wife is doing good. There you go. Good. Very good. And I, I'm going to tell you what my reward is. When I, work in, when I walk in that room, boy, oh, that's my husband. That's it. Amen. That's it. Amen. So sometimes I go out and stay 15, 20 minutes. When I come back, she says, this is my what? I don't want to irritate nobody, but it's good to have a good wife. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, 
I'm going to see if you're going to pat your hand to this. It's good to have a good hood. Now, if you've got accommodation of a good hood and a good wife, you got something there. You got to do that, that would attack that devil and bring him down. But and, and I'm trying to figure out how can a single man have a husband? And I'm just, I said, is the church the bride of Christ? Amen. Huh? If this man's wife die, he can become a wife. Mm -hmm. don't, don't let me lose you now. Because Jesus can be your everything. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus yeah. can be your everything. Yeah. That's right. That's what he said. I, I just seen the singing women in here at home by themselves in the bed. They just sell themselves down. I said, Lord, I would. God is whatever you need him to be. God is whoever you need him to be. It's funny how God can be a husband to a man. Can't find that in the head. We ain't talking about flesh. If we're going to be the bride of Christ, Christ ain't married to no man. That ain't for your head. The scripture said, seek the Lord. He ain't talking to you now, you already found him. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Now, when you find him, call upon him. Lord, I'm sorry for my sin. Lord, help me now. Uh huh? There's a process to this stuff. And if God is not a respect to a person, ain't your children people? Yes, ain't your children children people? Yes, Don't they have soul? Yes, God said, I would that none should what? Yes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. <laughs> and all your ways. Yes. Acknowledge me, surrender your thoughts yes, to the word of this book. And let the devil go into hell. He is the only one that really got to go to hell. Come on, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Praise him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's a friend, friend. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's a friend, friend, friend. Yes, he is. He's a friend, you, friend, Thank friend. You, Thank you, Lord. He's a friend, friend, friend. I love him. Glory. Love him. Love him. Thank you, Jesus. I'm all cold. I'm sitting in here. I'm here to tell you I am sweetly saved. I am sanctified. Yes, sir. So I am glorified. Because right, I am the body of what? Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Christ in me, the hope of what? Glory. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. There's some words that come across this pulpit. Yes, yes. Let me speak a word to the pastor that don't belong here. There's no such thing as a woman preacher. Mm -hmm. Let me get it straight to you. Now. Oh, There's no such thing as a male preacher. Come on. That's right, There's such thing as a word preacher. And here we say nothing but what? Because the book says you shall know the truth. <laughs> And help me with the truth or what? Yeah, make you, yeah, make you free. I'm free. I'm free. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm free. 
Now, you, you thought you was on the street. You don't know about the street. Let, let me and Blackwood tell you about the street. You, 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 no, you just looked on the corner. <laughs> you don't know nothing about the street. Somebody told you about the street. But brother, I, I don't want to make you cry, but look at me and tell you something, boy. You talking about filth? Been there. Amen. Talking about being hungry and ain't got a friend nowhere? Amen. Been there. Amen. Yes. Yes, sir. But as a pastor, I said, but oh, look at me now. Yes, sir. I'm saved. Yes, sir. Washed in the blood. Yes. Filled with the spirit. Love God. Hallelujah. Love the sinners. Yes. Hate the sin. Yes. Yes. Stump the devil. Yes. Worshiping God. Yes. Loving his church. Hallelujah. That's my life. Hallelujah. That's my life. Hey, that's my life. That's my life. I'm going to make you feel good and I'm going to see what time it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, got 14 minutes. In the beginning was the word. And listen to it now, because you ain't never heard it before. And the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word was saying yesterday, today, forevermore. And we are children of the word. We're born by the word. We're filled with the word. We're kept with the word. The word is our weapon, is our warfare, is our deliverance, is a hiding place. I'm talking about the word of God, most certain name. I'm talking about the word of God. That's why I am on the command, Pastor Wheeler, loose my people. I'm going to do it too. I said, I'm going to do it too. Pastor Wheeler, loose my people. My firstborn just entered the church. Dr. Jeffrey Wheeler. <laughs> you know, when it's all said and done, and you think you're all by yourself, that's a lie. Amen. There ain't no way I can be alone. Because I'm a quartet. You don't quote me for. I got the Father, Amen. I got the Son, mm -hmm. I got the Holy Ghost. Yes. And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost got me. Yes. We are a quartet. Mm -hmm. And when we stand, we put fear mm -hmm. on that devil. Because yes. we got power. Yes. I said, we got them all called set to hell. I said, we got power. Yes. And we got that power. It didn't come from us. Didn't come from the Holy Ghost either. It came from us surrendering ourselves yes. to the Holy Ghost. Then yes. he becomes the power of God, yes. the saving power, yes. the keeping power, yes. the preaching power, yes. the resurrected power, yes. heaven's power, yes. dunamis yes. power. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's right. I, I, I am ashamed to say this. But I ain't going to say it. I would not tell you that I love Jeff, but I ain't going to tell you. Because I don't want to get on saying. But then I love all my children. But Jesus had 12 children. And he loved one. Not more than he did the other ones. He loved that one because that one loved him. And the one that loved Jesus came and put his head in Jesus' bosom. Yes, Lord. And when the other disciples want to find out something, they told John, and little John said, ask him who it is that's going to betray him. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he ask? Mm -hmm. That's right. If you got to ask somebody else who's going to betray Jesus, who's going to betray Jesus, mm -hmm. something wrong with your faith. Yes, you got to know 
who Jesus is to you, what he is to you. You got to know who you are to him yes, sir. and what you represent to him. Amen. You are his body. Yes, sir. And Jesus ain't got no twin. Amen. We only got one body. Amen. It's the church Amen. of the living God. Amen. He is a lover. Now don't get this mixed up. Tell me he's a lover of good men. No, he's a lover of men. Because the Bible says he so loved the world. That was that sinful man. Yeah. That he gave a holy man. Mm -hmm. And my Bible says, if you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, you shall mm -hmm. be what? Saved. Saved. Sin free. Sanctified. Mm -hmm. Hell at your back. Mm -hmm. Heaven before you. Amen. Satan under your foot. Yes. Power in your mouth. Yes. Salvation in your soul. When you call upon the name of Jesus, you don't say it, sir, boy. He I've been teaching St. John 14 now for close to 60 years. The Lord, let not your heart, that's your spirit, be troubled. He didn't say God was going to take the trouble. He said, don't you let it be troubled. Look, look, here's how you get it done. You believe in God and your heart ain't trouble. Jesus is talking now. He said, believe in me and your heart ain't going to be trouble. But they asked him, show us the Father. He said, have I been so long with you? And you don't know that I am the Father? Get knowledge. Help me with it. Get wisdom. But now you're getting what? Get understanding that Jesus is the triune God. Holy Ghost is a triune God. God the Father is a triune God. When you see me, Jesus said, you have seen the Father. So what you mean, show me the Father. But Jesus is so patient. You're talking about a teacher. God Almighty. Did you know he prayed for the one that despitefully used him and hung him on a tree and killed him. Amen. Look what his prayer was. Father, forgive. Hey, you pray this for your enemy now. Father, forgive them. Help me with it. They know not what they do because they don't know who I am. Or they never would have killed the God of what? Glory. What is he? The God of what? So you say this word to God. Be the glory. Look, look at that. To God be Jesus. Are you Bible student? Mm -hmm. To God be Jesus. To God be the glory that he is. St. John 14 is a counseling teaching. And I promise you, I promise you, one o'clock, I got seven minutes. The second verse in Psalm 14, in my father's house, a many mentioned, well, not so I would have told you. Now, he said, I go to prepare a place in my father's house for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, look at this promise. I will come again. Yes. Yes. Hey, hey, I will come again. No matter what. No matter what so-and-so does. No matter what so-and-so don't do. You can't make God a lie.
and you haven't graduated from high school? Are you over the age of 30 and you're having problems with basic reading and math calculations? And you need to return to school but you're afraid of the traditional classroom setting? Are you over the age of 50 and you're having problems finding a job because you don't know how to use a computer? Well, don't worry, T Adult Skills Center is here for you. We work with adults aged 25 years of age and older in basic reading, math, GD prep, and computer training. 